This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Sometimes you just can't find the project template that you want, and so you'll need to create your project from scratch. And sometimes you just prefer to create it from scratch because then you know every element and every piece that's a part of the project. So if we run back into project, what happens is when I open project, it says, well, where would you like to go? And I could open existing projects, but this is a new one. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I want either blank project or new from existing. Now, this is a little bit different than the blank. This takes an existing project of yours, so you already know all about it, and it allows you to do, for instance, a save as to it and then tweak it. So that's one option. You actually are starting with something that you have already designed, you have already created, and you know what it's all about. That's an option. Or you can simply choose blank project, just to start from scratch, blank project. And when you click on blank project, it's pretty much blank. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. New tasks are created in manually scheduled mode. It pops up and reminds me. And if you don't see the message while it's big on the screen, it's still in the taskbar. New tasks, manually scheduled. Well, you've got a clean slate here. You're going to do everything that you need to create your project. First thing we want to do, though, we need to save it. Because by default, it comes up project one, project professional. That's the software that I'm using, but project one is not the name that I want for this file. So instead of project one, I want to go in and I want to do a save. Now by default, when you hit save, we have not ever been inside of this project, so it's automatically going to pop us into save as, but I want to take you back to the save as. So I clicked on file, and the first time you save, save is save as. I promise I clicked on save, it won't let me go to save because it doesn't have anything to save. As you know, when you save a file, you have to have the name of the file and the location that you want to save it. So once I give it a name and once I give it a location, then I can click that save anytime I want to. But right now, that's simply not an option. Well, let's look at the opportunities you have for saving your projects. You can sync it with SharePoint. So if you're a SharePoint user, you simply know all of this information. You know about the SharePoint site, you know the server, you know all that information. If you're not using SharePoint, you will never use this feature. Now, this is a nice new option that's available, SkyDrive. It's a Microsoft product, if you will, that allows you to log in, store information online in the cloud, and then it doesn't matter which computer you're on, when you go to a different computer and you log into your SkyDrive, you can get those files. That is fantastic. So how do you know where your SkyDrive is? Well, if you've already been in a Microsoft product, you're already logged in. So before I opened Project, I had Word open and I was already logged in. Up here in the top right-hand corner, it tells me how I was logged in. I was logged in in this Outlook account called Demo Tutorial. I didn't have to do anything in project, folks. It just automatically popped up on the screen and automatically understood what account I wanted to use. Well, if that isn't the proper account, you simply click Switch Account. And when you click on Switch Account, if you've already established, and I promise you, I've done nothing in project ahead of time. All of this is something that I have done either in Word or Excel or one of the other applications that has this really nice feature in it. So if I have an account here, I simply switch. Now, what am I switching to? It's like a different drive in the sky, right? So this is a different account on SkyDrive that stores different things. So I can quickly switch to that, and then I would be in class example. And you see how things switched on my screen a little bit? And my icon switched up here? Nope, I want to go back to my other account. So I'll go back to my Sherry Tingle account. Now, there was also a link, let me show you really fast down here at the very bottom where it says Add Account. So if these aren't proper or you just don't have an account yet, you click on Add Account, and here are the accounts that you can use. You can use Live Accounts, you can use Hotmail Accounts, you can use Outlook Accounts. So if they're Microsoft Accounts, you can quickly and easily just log in. It's 
wonderful. You have all this storage container space in the sky. It's fantastic. Okay, so I'm in the proper account that I want to be in now. Okay, so now when I do the saving, when I do the browsing, I'm actually browsing in the cloud. So if I know that it's here, Sherry Tingle SkyDrive or some other folder that's listed, I can go ahead and click, or I can click Browse, and I'll browse my SkyDrive. This is that cloud technology that's all the rave right now, and it's fantastic because here I am in the studio doing this project. Tonight, when I go home to my house, I can log in to this SkyDrive, and I can find this exact project. Or next week, I'm going on vacation to visit my grandma, and I'm at her house on her computer. I can log into my SkyDrive and get to this project. Isn't this fantastic? So I just want to go into the SkyDrive where I have my data stored. And here's where I want my project 2013 information to be stored. And I will call this class example. And what we're going to make here, I didn't even tell you what our project is going to be, but we're going to shoot a web video. So I'm going to call this class example web video. And then I'll go ahead and hit save. So now, where I've saved this file is the SkyDrive. Ooh, did you see that dialog box popping up really quickly? It had an HTTP address on it. That was just finding my connection to the internet, finding my SkyDrive in the cloud, and saving this file to the SkyDrive. So now I have a title, Class Example Web Video. Let me just retrack that. File, Save As, it's in the SkyDrive. You don't have to do anything special except have a Microsoft account. That's the only thing you have to have. So if you don't already have a Microsoft account, you can get a Microsoft account. So let me show you for an example. Right up here where I say switch accounts, when I click on switch account, and at the bottom, let me click add account very quickly. Add account, you can type your email address in here and get started with any current account that you currently have that's a Hotmail, a Live, or an Outlook account. or when you click Next, oh, if you have to type something in here, so hi at me dot or whatever that was, you can just get started because the next screen says, I can't find this. Would you like to sign up? So sometimes I just go this route to get to the sign up, and then this would take you out to Microsoft's website where you can sign up for an email account that will work here for a login. All right, let me go ahead and click the X to close out of that. So you can sync with SharePoint. You can put it on the SkyDrive or the good old fashioned, you can put it out there on my computer. So you could store it on your computer as well. Again, the huge benefit of the SkyDrive is then when you go to a different computer and you open project and log into your SkyDrive, you have the files right there and you don't have to be carting files around any longer on a little thumb drive or another method that you use to cart files around. And right here, you can also add a place here. So you can click on Add a Place and it gives you an opportunity to add other accounts. So maybe I have two or three SkyDrives. I could add an additional SkyDrive just simply clicking on this option right here. Well, I think you get the idea on how to save. The important thing is that you save and save often. So now I've given my file, let me click back over here. I've given my file a new name, Class Example Web Video, and I've created a brand new project that I'm going to start from scratch. And so my tasks from here on out, build my project. Pop quiz question time. How is a new project created from scratch? A, select the Save As command. B, select the Open With command. C, select the File tab. D, select the Taskbar. You do use the File tab, so the proper answer here is C. That'll take you into the backstage where you can create a project from scratch. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.